what is up y'all welcome back to the casas fam today's video i made you guys an iced caramel coffee this is a skinny venti iced caramel coffee and i seriously have been messing with it with the ingredients and i feel like i finally got it to the t on it being super good and super delicious remember it is only 160 calories so um why not so if you like coffee you're gonna like this video so let's get right into it this is what you're going to need for your iced caramel coffee so all you're going to need is obviously the coffee this is the two brands that i have been using and i have been loving they're both really good this is the house blend medium roast it just all depends on your preference either you like it blonde uh rich or medium I like my coffee to be medium i don't like it to be too roasted or too blonde i like it right in the middle so these are the two coffees that I use. You're also going to need some milk. You can either use cow milk or whatever milk you like. I like almond milk, but this is the milk that I use that makes this coffee a 160 calorie coffee. And then you're going to use a creamer. This is the creamer I like. This is really delicious. It's really good. And my comadre actually told me that you can get two of these at Sam's Club for like seven bucks around there. So. This one is really good. And then the last thing you need is some caramel drizzle and you're gonna need some ice. So I'm gonna, these are the ingredients I'm gonna use to make my iced caramel coffee. I have uh, some coffee brewed. Um, I did it last night and I popped it in the fridge. You can either do it in the mornings or you can make a large amount and keep it in the fridge for about a week. Sorry, I had to pop on here to let you guys know that I definitely feel like it tastes so much different when you brew it in the morning and you let it sit for a couple hours and then you make your coffee opposed to leaving it in the fridge overnight and letting it sit. It's weird. It just tastes so different. Um, this was my first time leaving it in the fridge, so that's why I was like, go ahead and put it in the fridge, which you can. You can go ahead and put it in the fridge. It even like, tells you, you know, to make an, a large amount and then just take it out and it's good for about a week. But personally, I just didn't think it tastes as good as when you first brew it. I don't know if it's with any coffee, with just that coffee. I, I don't know, but I just want to let you guys know that if it works and you guys have time, brew it in the morning. If it doesn't, then do it this way. It's still good. I just feel like it has a different taste. But yeah, anyways, let's get back to the video. Just did this one in the machine. It's just a regular coffee machine. It's not a Keurig or anything. It's just a regular coffee machine. I did 12 ounces of water, which is about roughly about this much, and four tablespoons of coffee. So like I said, I already brewed my tea. Mine's in nice and cold. I'm obviously not gonna use all of this. I'm only gonna use about half of it for my coffee. And yeah, so now let's, I'm gonna show you guys how I make it. Okay, so obviously you don't need one of these cups, but um, I just use this. I already know where like the measurements go. I have two friends that make custom cups with any design that you want. Um, I'm gonna put their links down below or their names on the screen somewhere so you guys can go check them out. But anyways, I'm gonna use this cup right now. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to glaze my cup with caramel drizzle. So this caramel is 120 calories, as you can see right here. For two tablespoons, is 120 calories. I'm not gonna use both of these, I'm only gonna use one, so half of 120 is gonna be 60. So I'm only gonna use 60 calories of caramel. So there you go, and I just go ahead and drizzle my cup The next thing, so I already drizzled my cup. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some almond milk. I was using regular cow milk, but the calories in this was over 250 calories, so I was like, I need to change something. So I changed my milk to almond milk, and let me tell you, it's not bad at all. It's actually really good, it tastes really, it tastes, you can't even taste the difference. Like at first you can a little bit, but then you get used to it, so. So one cup is 60 calories, so ya llevamos 60 calories here and 60 calories here, which is 120. So that's already 120 calories. Okay, so then I'm gonna go ahead and add my milk. One cup of milk, oops. Okay. So roughly about underneath right here is usually where I measure it and I'll know, okay, one cup is usually around right here. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my coffee. Like I said, my coffee, ya lo tengo brewed. I already brewed my coffee so it's nice and cold and I don't have to wait for it to get uh, cold after I do it. So I, coffee doesn't have sugar or doesn't have calories, doesn't have sugar. So you can put as much coffee as you want. That's when you do like the fasting and stuff, the intermittent fasting. Uh, you can drink black coffee, um, green tea, or water. So right now I'm gonna use about a cup. I'm gonna use about a cup of the coffee. And I still have, I usually use about half of this, so I'm gonna add a little bit more. So there, I used half of it. And then the last thing that I'm gonna do, you guys, I'm just gonna tell you this recipe is super fast and easy. I'm gonna use a creamer. So remember, we still have 120 calories in here because the coffee doesn't have any. Now I'm gonna use my creamer. This is what makes it sweet. The caramel already makes it sweet, but this makes it sweeter. So it just depends if you like it um, really sweet. I would put two tablespoons, but then it wouldn't make it 160 calories. Okay, so one tablespoon. One tablespoon of this creamer equals to 40 calories. So I'm gonna take one tablespoon of this right here. And I like to be a little generous. And I'll add it in there and I'll mix it up. Okay, and then I'm gonna add my yellow, I'm gonna add my ice. It just depends how much ice you want. I like my yellow cold, so. Anyways, that's gonna end this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I told you it was gonna be super easy, super simple. It's only 160 calories. Please try it, and if you do, please let me know what you think about it. But anyways, until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace!